During the 70s, 80s, and 90s, major acts of crime and violence were very present in Latin American countries. From Los Desaparecidos in Argentina or the Tlatelolco massacre in Mexico, both during the 70s, both resulting in the massacre and homicide of children in both countries. The civil wars and militarization of governments in Central America, most notably in El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala during the 80s and 90s caused by the United States government, which resulted in violence between the people and the military. And I can't forget to mention the influence of the drug cartels and political power of countries like Colombia and Mexico. We were introduced to Teresa Margolles at the end of our feminist art movement and the work that she has been doing in recent years. I wanted to dig in more to her work and other artists who also focus on the social political issues of their respective countries. Margolles was a forensic doctor studying the body of women with the Servicio Medico Forense, or CEMEFO, and has since dedicated herself to picture the femicides and homicides that occur in Mexico and her hometown of Culiacán, Sinaloa. Muro Baleado, known as the Shot Wall, shows the remains of the bricked wall where you can still see the holes of where the gunshots penetrated. Margolles took the wall and exhibited the work to show that the object as being a witness to the murder that occurred in Culiacán, which was cause of the drug cartel war. Margolles took a deeper look and shows the heartbreak piece to reveal a raw and violent situation that is going on in Mexico. In the capital of Mexico though, we see an artist who creates cultural installations and paintings in response to politically charged events. This is Minerva Cuevas. I planned a project for the Mexican and US border. My general idea was if there is a border, there could be a bridge. I had never been in the area of the Rio Bravo. I learned that the historical border is the deepest part of the river. I was marking the rocks with limestone just to make a sign of the crossing. You could see this dotted line going across the Rio Bravo. She believes that art is connected through social change and through the Better Life Corporation or Mejor Vida Corporation, she responds to the urban context of Mexico City, which includes the institution's economy or systems. The act of walking from south to north was the most political act you could do. You learn about the border through media. It's connected to limits or control. Violence is a very a strong element in this perception of what's the border. Along the river, you have some border patrols, but there were no signs. The whole area was free of any fence or wall, not witnessing anything connected to that kind of mediatic violence. It's the first liberation. You realize that what is intimidating is the desert itself. The idea of artists as an activist, this is where Minerva was able to take from it and the social idea behind the sabotaging of corporate entities through small interventions. She says that we are blinded by things of social crisis as they become transparent and forgotten. They project the exercise, reworking the visual code to make things visible again. Though she believes that projects like Crossing of the Rio Bravo can help us rethink our perceptions, the artist knows that collective action is required to enact lasting change. Mientras hay vida, hay esperanza. I think these are the words that stick to me from Regina Galindo. An artist who uses her body as a medium of expression and vehicle for thoughts about the crimes committed in Guatemala. She is a performer who takes inspiration from the testimony she receives from the people, from the women who have been hurt from these acts of violence. In this case, she uses the testimony of an indigenous woman who is raped by the military. She is aware that there is a time of crisis, but that there needs to be hope. 
and that is why she makes the piece I am alive. 36 años de guerra, un estado completamente corrompido. O sea, hay muchos factores en Guatemala y en Centroamérica que hacen que sea este puente de batalla. Es imposible que con el esfuerzo de un artista la violencia vaya a bajar. Estamos, estamos hablando de utopías y son cosas eh, irrealizables, inalcanzables para el arte. El arte no tiene esa función. El arte lo único que puede hacer es colaborar a poder ver la, la violencia desde diferentes perspectivas, colabora a hablar del asunto a denunciar, a hablar, a comunicar, a expresar y a hacer que el individuo reflexione sobre ciertas situaciones. Es el individuo el que ya tendrá que ir mermando o tendrá que ir cambiando su actitud, pero eso ya no le, ya no le compete al campo del arte. O sea, el, campo, el arte no puede hacer milagros, no puede cambiar una sociedad tan conflictiva como la de Guatemala, pero sí es indispensable el, la expresión en un país como Guatemala porque da nuevas oportunidades a las nuevas generaciones. Te expresas a través de un arma o te expresas a través de una pintura. Pienso que ante la crudeza, ante la crudeza de, de, de la realidad, trabajo con, acerca, trabajo con la periferia, con la periferia del cuerpo. No mostrar el cuerpo, sino su periferia. No mostrar en, como en esta pared, no mostrar a la persona que, que fue asesinada. Se, se muestra solamente el, el testigo. Esta pared es un testigo de los, del hecho. Para que tú como público pongas tu otra parte. Una parte es mi historia, pero yo quiero que el público se integre a su historia. There is this expectation of one action generating a lot of change. Books and projects can be important, but they won't be a solution. The problems or the crisis in the world is generated by everybody. So it has to be also a massive uh, reaction what changes reality. Nationalism nowadays is linked to violence and the other and the differences between communities rather than some kind of uniting element that is more necessary nowadays. The world wouldn't stop immigration. The world only reinforces this original imaginary that's connecting the border with violence. But how does art play a part in all of this? Well, unlike mainstream media, these artists have called out those who participate in acts of violence, crime, and justice in a direct or an indirect form using various mediums while also shining light to the victims of these acts. <laughs>